everybody, welcome back to Pixie Room Madness. Today I am here with my friend Sarah, and she's also my hairdresser. And we are going to do a series of hair videos for you called Super Hair Sunday. So on Sundays we will put a hair video on Pixie Room Madness for you. Now we're going to keep it really basic for the first one. And it drives me mad that whenever I have my hair cut by Sarah, it always looks so nicely hair dried. So she's going to teach me how to hair dry my hair because I just can't do it and when I do it the fringe doesn't look the same she always gets it to fall forward like hers basically <laughs> so um, we are going to show you how to blow dry hair now so I hope you enjoy so we start with combing it through right okay because some people put patterns in their hair before they dry it and that can always be a key as well for where it falls naturally at the end okay so first thing is what we're going to do is spray in a little bit of uh, leave-in conditioner. It's from Pureology, and it is actually more for NYX blonde bits. Um, okay. It's sort of a miracle treatment, and it just helps you comb it through as well. So it's a really okay. good product. So we're just going to spray it through the hair. So I'm going to get you to do the other side. Okay, perfect. It smells <laughs> really nice. Yeah. I'm going to get you in the face. <laughs> how much? Do you, how, like just a few sprays. Yeah. So probably. Five or six at the most, because okay, it's, it's quite concentrated, so you know, you don't want to use too much. Um, also, the next tip is, is to comb from the bottom. Oh, okay, I would never think that. So, comb from the bottom up. How which, come? It doesn't because, rip your hair. Yeah, and also, um, if you've got really knotty hair, if you start from the top, down, you're going to pull the knots into the hair that's already knotted, so oh. it actually makes it worse rather than, you know, just teasing it from the bottom and working up. Okay. So that is the best way to do it. So you can see it's quite easy And to a comb do. is better to use? Yeah, I would say. Um, if you've got really, really knotty hair, then a paddle brush is fine. Or they have got things like tangle teasers, which are like in the shops now, which are quite good as well, which we could show you on another video. Um, yeah, so just start from the bottom and then work up. So is that the right action, yeah? Just... Yeah. You know, I know it sounds ridiculous, how do I brush my hair, <laughs> but I don't but know. But some people don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't and know. I'd always start from the root. Yeah, and I think it just kind of saves your hair, you know, it's not going to pull your hair through, and also partings as well is very kind of important yeah. as well. So then where do we, what's the next step we next take? Next step is section your hair off. Okay. And we're going to do it really simply, um, so really just with fingers. So you don't have to put your comb in or anything like that. Okay. So what I would do is if, if you do drag through to the bottom section. So that my fingers meet? Yeah. Yeah. And then pull, twist that top bit up. Yeah. So we use um, a section clip. Yep. And um, we're going to clip that top So I just up. literally, yep. you know, pull that up. So my hair's quite heavy, so do I use two on either side? Yes, perfect. Okay. Perfect. I'm gonna have lovely blow dried hair. <laughs> so, yeah, and then what we do is we start with, and I think the main brush that everyone struggles with is a round brush. Okay. I think a lot of people can paddle brush their hair, which is the big straight Yeah, line. that's what I normally use. Um, but it's just a round brush that people find difficult. So, we're gonna use this today so that everyone can see what a normal blow dry is like. So, what we do is we get the brush through and we put it into the roots. And then what we'll do is we'll get the hair dry on top. So if you just practice putting that in, yep. which might so let me, let, me, <laughs> let me break yeah. it. So I'm literally going to take a section, section. Yeah. and I can kind of get rid Perfect. of that section. Yeah. And I'm just going to hold it there, yeah? Yeah. And if you can get a bit closer into the root, that's Right, it. okay. Because I find that because my hair is so thick, I don't dry the root. Yeah. And then it goes puffy. Yeah. Because you, all the ends are nice, and then it naturally dries over the day, and then it goes big. Yeah, yeah. so I would always have to section my hair to make it hairdresser yeah. nice, wouldn't I? Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's <laughs> a little bit more This work. is more time in the morning, guys. <laughs> so, again, so you put, put the brush in. Yeah. But right to the root. Yeah. That's perfect. And then, with your other hand, you grab the hairdryer. Yeah. And what you need to do is it's a bit of an arm workout. That is. Good, we need these bingo wings gone. <laughs> and it's literally like that. So and I'm brushing down as yeah. I do it. Okay. So Sorry guys, it's going to be noisy, but I just need to show you and then you won't have to see too much of it. <laughs> so 
how do I get it again? Yeah. So what I would do is just turn your nozzle. Yeah. So it's flat against the brush. Right. Okay. So everyone holds the hairdryer differently. So you will need to just to check when you're doing it yourself where the nozzle hits. Okay. So so. What about if you wind it? Is that bad? Well, if you wind it. Do you know um, what I mean? Yeah. I don't totally I know, know what you but mean. I, I get really knotted and sometimes so, I see people do it and I think, oh, I want to be able to do so it. So if you wind it down and then pull it up, you do have the you do trouble. That to my hair. Yeah, you do have the trouble that you will get it stuck. Okay. So the best thing to do is if you're going to do that, you need to turn the brush so it's like that, so it comes into that way. Okay, so it's and not then, underlapping yeah, itself. So then that will pull out quite easily. Oh, that is <laughs> such a good little If trick. you go into like that, you're actually locking the hair into it, so hence why you get it stuck. Do you know what? <laughs> I That <laughs> is so simple, but I'm so simple, so. Right, let so, me have another go at this. I'm gonna do the rest. Yeah. And then um, we'll go to the next section. And then section. we'll go to the next section. <laughs> so we might speed this bit up or I might you you can watch me do this one side on my own. Yeah. Struggle. Right, so I need to section it. Is that about the right amount of section? Yeah, you know. So don't always like put big sections, like just I because think, you wanna try and be quick. I think that's what I do. Yeah. And I just want a nice blow dry hair. <laughs> you know, it sounds it's so a lot of work. It, it is sounds, a lot of work. Yeah, it sounds so ridiculous, but I'm no good with hair. Yeah. Makeup, I can do. Hair, <laughs> no. Yeah. You might find one side better than the other. I think this might be easier. Yeah. Yeah. Good job you're that side, yeah. yeah. So I've done the underneath, we're now going to move on to the next section. So do I just take these clips out? Take it out. And then exactly the same as I did before, but oh. just moving upwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That bit I can I can get. And like I say, if you've got thick hair, you know, take smaller sections. If you've got fine hair, then obviously you can take bigger sections. It just depends on how your hair is naturally. So if someone has very fine hair, do they have to section it at all? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, just because when they put the round brush in, the roots won't be lifted enough. Okay. Yeah. It will drag onto onto the hair, if that makes sense. And me yeah. putting my wet hair on this hair underneath, will it do anything to no. it? Okay. Because I mean, it's slightly towel dried anyway, so yeah. you're not gonna you're not gonna style your hair from soaking wet because it will take you forever. So you must towel dry your hair first, or you know, leave it to dry a little bit beforehand. Make sure you don't put your partons in or anything like that. But just because you'll be there for ages if you do it soaking wet. So fantastic! I'm gonna <laughs> blast you. Like how much smoother that is than into that bit behind. Yeah. <laughs> than how it could be. <laughs> so you can see that even if you just wanted to dry it straight, but just with a nice little bend to it, then this is the way to do it. Really, it just takes a little bit longer. Okay. Well. Right. What we will do is I will finish drying the hair, and then we're going to come back and show you the front bit. parting and the scrump bit, because that's my main bit that I have issues with. So um, yeah, I'll see you when it's dry. Okay, so I have dried most of it, but not the fringe. So I'm going to show you how to do the fringe. It's like a little sweat box in here now because it was so warm while I was trying to do it and it took me ages. But um, it looks lovely, so I'm really pleased with it. Now I know how to do it. 
but I'll probably never do it. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's show me how to do my fringe now then. Right, so best thing to do is dry it forward. Right, which okay. sounds crazy because everyone puts it on the side and they dry it on the side. See, I'd do that. Yeah, and that's the way. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you kind of either get like a little end or you get it too swept back like when that, you do it basically. like that. Yeah. yeah. So everyone does this mistake, which is fine, um, but we're going to show you how to do it now. Um, and it is to dry it forward like a fringe. Which, okay. You know, so we're just going to comb it forward. Yeah. And it's like you've got a really long full fringe. <laughs> right, okay. And we're going to dry it like that. So um, if you literally lean, yeah, lean like forwards. I would when I had a fringe, like yeah. that, yeah? And put the it whole in. thing or whole just thing. that bit? Okay. Whole thing. And then I'm just going to dry it like you did before. Okay. okay. Time, so you make sure that's properly dry. Awesome. <laughs> do you know what? I would never do that either. I'm really, I'm dead chuffed with that. If I take nothing away from this tutorial, then that <laughs> I will use. I have a perfect. It's so simple. Front of hair. Until you know. <clears throat> so clever. Oh. And then where do I take it? And now all you do is you would part it. So wherever you want to part it, so if you decide to do oh, it, yes. and then if you find that it is going a little bit too much or a bit too crazy, you can now just with your hand pull it over. Okay. Shall I do it? Yeah. So if you feel like it's puffing out a little bit too much, you can just it with your hand. Hard head by Bedhead, and it's the best hairspray ever. Why? It's just it holds, but it's not too heavy. It's, it's not good too as well, Bedhead, yeah. don't they? And it's not too wet, and you know, it's just an all rounder, which I really love. <laughs> and then love all the you would do is spray it and just keep those front bits back. There you go. Oh my god, I absolutely, uh, actually, I can't even speak. I actually love it. So simple, you know, it's like I've never seen hair drying before. <laughs> and I know that sounds ridiculous, but I would never think to do that. I would always do it backwards. Yeah. So I love, love, love. Thank you so much. And there will be plenty more videos. I am going to put Sarah's Twitter in the uh, description box. So tweet her questions or ask her videos that you want her to do. It's pointless asking me because I won't know. We're going to do up do's. We're going to do fashion do's. All stuff like that. So, um, yeah, every Sunday. Stay tuned. See you soon. Bye. Thanks, darling. That's awesome.